In this video, I present you an important um, expansion method or uh, theorem, but we'll not go into depth of it, just superficially we talk about it. This theorem says that any random process could be expanded uh, into a series of uh, countable uh, orthogonal components. This theorem is uh, attributed to different uh, uh, researchers uh, not very long ago, Kumbasi and Karol Lueff. Sometimes they call it uh, Karol Lueff expansion, Karol Lueff theorem, and then uh, some other people they attribute it to Kumbasi, uh, Kusambi. Uh, so they have. So the theorem is important, but uh, is a bit theoretical, and it also has combined with estimation and so on, it could have lots of good, good application. So um, it says that if you have a zero mean random process with autocorrelation function, doesn't need to be stationary, then it could be expanded in mean square sense into some components. So these signals, uh, these are deterministic. And they are orthogonal. That means that if you calculate the dot product of phi ka of t times, let's say, phi l of t, okay, which is integral, let's say if you're uh, studying this signal over time interval t, integral from 0 to t of phi k of t, and then uh, phi l conjugate of t dt, this guy is equal to 0 if k is not equal to l and is 1 if k is equal to l. Okay, and then ck can be calculated easily is equal to the dot product of x of t and um, um, phi uh, k of t. So, um, so CN can be calculated, so it's a projection. And so the, the, the orthogonality of these set of waveforms means that they, they form a, a, like a orthogonal um, Cartesian coordinate. And CK, they represent the, the component of your random uh, process on those um, 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 uh, coordinates. So, so the main thing is this theorem that is that these CKs, so X of T can be represented by CK if these phi KT are predetermined. So the challenge and limitation of the application is that these, these set of waveforms sometimes are un unknown as well. So you, you don't know them and you need to, um, to determine them. And uh, the, the, the phi k are eigenfunctions of your autocorrelation function. So that means that um, um, the dot product of these over t is equal to that. So it's kind of like, so the, this theorem says that this sort of equation, this one, if you find the solution of this one, and then you can write this expression. So this means that lambda k is an eigenvalue of this one, and lambda k is the energy of your signal. But this lambda k also is related to ck, and uh, so so it's your 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 energy of your um, kth component. So the the, the proof is um, not very difficult, and then you can prove this one. I will not go over it, so we can. Just go over the detail of math of it very slowly. I will post the, the slides and uh, so. But the consequence is that you can once you find these ones, you can say, oh, I form this signal and I prove that this this signal is equal to this one. So you need to expand this one. This will become two double sum because you need to get this signal and multiply by its conjugate. And the first one has one sum, the other one has a different sum. And then, the, the, and then you expand it and you go ahead and so on. So when, when you solve it and you use those pro, uh, previous equations, you can show that this is equal to zero. So the proof is complete.